Hey family here, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where I will be finally giving you guys a video you have been highly requesting all up in my DMs, all under my comment section, all up on my Instagram, my Twitter, everyone wants to know the two ways in which I tie my head wraps and where I get my head wraps from. So I am going to be showing you guys the two ways in which I like to tie them, which is on top with the high bun and also in this manner that you see right here and i also just show you guys all of the head wraps that i have well most of them the ones that i wear that i rock and you guys can you believe i lost i really feel like i left it in vegas when i went to vegas for a quick trip i lost the head wrap color in which like that was the color like I can't believe I left it in Las Vegas I'm so upset I'll insert the picture so you know what I'm talking about but I can't believe I left that head wrap in Vegas like how could I do such a thing that color oh my gosh it was everything but anyways I lost it whatever so I have filmed this video twice before I filmed one in the very beginning of my channel days um, but that was a very old style I'll just insert another picture so you can reference what style I'm talking about. A lot of you have been here since those times. I no longer tie my head wraps in that manner anymore. I don't even know why I stopped tying it in that manner, but you know, maybe I just outgrew it. So now I just do it in two ways. So I'm going to show you guys both of those ways. And I will say, I know you guys would like for me to tell you where I get my head wraps from. You want a site, you want a website, you want a company. However, I really just can't because I don't get my head wraps from a site, from a company. I go to Chinatown in San Francisco. If you have a Chinatown wherever you live, or you happen to come to San Francisco, visit Chinatown because they have like they have like two or three streets of just shops and I just shop their street shops and they have head wraps and they're pretty affordable. Um you get like three for twenty. So unfortunately I cannot link you to a site. I cannot link you to a company. Okay, go to flea markets, go to street shops. They're not titled head wraps or just scarves that you would wrap around your neck but I choose to wrap them around my head. So without further conje, if you are interested, and girl, I know you are, to see me demonstrate the two ways in which I love to tie my head wraps, as well as my head wrap collection look book, a little modeling moment, a little modeling session of all of the head wraps that I own, well, most of them, then stay tuned, keep on watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. All right, starting off with the very first style. This is the style I wear most of the time. I'm usually, I usually have a bonnet on because my hair is in braids and I don't want the scarf to cause friction with my hair. My hair is in braids majority of the time, you guys. So my hair is not wrapped up in my wrap. It's braided back. So I use this nice big scarf. My scarves are really big, okay? They're not small. Well, only one of them is, um, but they're really big. So this is the scarf I wear majority of the time. I really just like the texture of the scarf. It's like very bulky and I like it because it gives me volume. So I drape it over the back of my head and bring it forward. This technique is so easy, you guys. It's so simple. I tighten it where it meets my forehead so it doesn't slip off of my head. And then I just begin to twist it. I twist it very tight where it meets my forehead and then I loosen it up because I don't want a tight looking bun. I want it to look big, fluffy, and effortless. And then all I do is whoosh, okay? I wrap it around and then all I do is start to tuck it in. So it's just like a tucking game. This always turns out different each time because of the way the head wrap like folds, the, the material folds and it just adds character, it adds dimension. So I just tuck it in. I'm just gonna show you one more time. I just swish it around, okay? Swoop it around my head and make a bun and I play a tucking game. All I do is begin to tuck in the tassels. I don't want the tassels showing because it just looks unfinished. So I just start to tuck in the tassels and play with the bun, shape the bun, get it to my liking. And I really love how it's voluminous like this. That's why I don't twist it super tight. I only twist it tight where it meets my forehead and then I loosen it up. That's what it looks like in the bag. It's not the most pleasing, but we're going to play with it. I'm going to take some bobby pins and this is how it stays secure on my head. So I just take some bobby pins and I just pin it where the bun meets 
the my head where the bun meets yeah basically where the bun meets my head that's where i'm securing the bobby pins at or else it'll just unravel throughout the whole day i don't want it to do that and i just kind of put it in so the bobby pins look a little bit discreet you can't really notice the bobby pin um only if you like come up on me and this is really how i do it you guys it's so easy so simple the reason why it has this volume is it's just the material of this scarf um so if you want just look for a scarf that's a little thick she's a little thickums like she's a nice warm winter scarf so this is how i achieve this style and you guys always see me wear this scarf as well this scarf is actually from spain okay from barcelona my grandma got me this scarf so unfortunately she is one of a kind which i like i love the texture of this scarf but this scarf achieves its volume because I layer it over top of that orange scarf because that orange scarf has a very thick material. And this is basically just a tucking game as well. I just tuck it. I play with it because this scarf has so many different patterns. It always turns out different each time I tuck it. So I just kind of wrap it around. I wrap each side around my bun and just tuck it. This one is a little bit more complicated just because it doesn't always work with me. I have to keep tucking it and playing with it because I want a certain pattern to show. But I just love this scarf. This scarf really makes me feel like a queen, you guys. So because this is small, of course, I couldn't wrap this around my head without something underneath it. So that's how this scarf achieves its volume. There's my secret, okay? I spilled the beans, y'all. Gave you some tea but i just play i t uh, tuck it i play with it um i play with the pattern see which pattern i want shown this day and yeah that's how this is the very first style um i love this scarf okay i know y'all love it too y'all always asking me where i get it from but unfortunately honey she is one of a kind meant for a queen <laughs> All right, so this is the pattern we ended up with. She just looks so cool, like, ugh, I love this. So this is the very first style, you guys. This is the trick to how I achieve this head wrap style. She's very easy, you guys, so it takes like two seconds. Let's move on to the very second style. I love this style, but I have to do it over top of a wig. Um, I don't, I mean, it just, it just looks the best. So my wig is not laid, okay? Do not clock my wig, okay? I'm taking the, uh, the same color scarf, but a different uh, material because it's thinner. The thick scarf won't work over top because it just won't tuck enough. So this is my 28 inch wig, honey. She ain't laid, but it don't matter because the scarf going over top of it. So I drape it over my head evenly, like right in the middle. I take both sides and I work my way up to my head. Okay, because we don't want any extra fabric hanging out with this style. So I work my hands all the way up to I reach the end, like so. This is so easy too, but I did this off whim. And then I, what do you call it? You cross it, I cross both sides, like so. Then after I crossed it, I just bring it around front. So I crossed it. Now I'm just going to bring it around front. It looks more complicated than it is. And that's just because of the folds of the scarf. It gives it character. I cross it. Then I cross it again in the front. And then I bring it all the way back. And then all I do is tuck it now. Like it's so easy. So I drape it over my head. I work my hands all the way up to my head. I cross the two, the two sides in the back. Bring it forward then cross it back bring it backwards and then i just tuck it it's so easy it, re it looks complicated only because of the folds of the scarf you would have thought it took me 30 minutes to do this but no it's just the folds and all i do is make sure all the tassels are tucked in and this is how i style you know my long hair head wrap look oh this this is by far my favorite look like it just makes me feel like a queen it makes me feel like i just put even more effort into my outfit and then i just move the hair that's in my face out the way and fix my wig because she got a little messy when i was doing this um but this is the second head wrap style i hope i explained it well um stay tuned because now we're just gonna go through a lookbook of all of my favorite scarves <laughs> 